All right, guys, I am finally, it's here. I'm going to be at Caroline's on Broadway in New York City, August 12th through 14th. I cannot wait to see you there. I'll be at the Hartford Funny Bone in Connecticut, August 27th through 28th. I'll be at the Zanies in Chicago, September 7th and 8th. And then I'll be in Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities, September 9th through 11th. I have a bunch, a bunch more dates coming after that. Check them out on AnnieLetterman.com. They're up now. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be on the road. I'm coming to Portland November 3rd at the Helium Comedy Club and November 4th I'll be at Cobbs in San Francisco and I'm coming to Florida in October and check out Sleepover by Astro.com for a new drop of my clothing line. Ever pulled out like a like a scary looking chunk no, I'm just out of your ear <laughs> out of the hole where your thing is no like you you dig your finger in your ear in the hole uh-huh and you know the one yeah do you ever pull something out that you wish you hadn't seen i always wish i'd seen it like it always so it's so satisfactory to me but like, ha- it's so does satisfying. that happen do you see something gross yeah like, it's earwax i just the way you set that up is as though you have an extra ear hole you don't want us to know about you're like you know the one ear hole <laughs> well you are confusing me but have you ever had that happen i thought you meant like squeezing the juice out yeah but not scary it's not like a worm comes out but what so what is it then it's like a satisfying chunk of earwax yeah it's just been but impacted it, it there. wasn't like dark and scary Yes, but in a beautiful, I probably FaceTimed my loved ones and was like, yeah, I had a good gunk. Do you know that Asians have a different consistency um, earwax than white people? What are you talking about? Does one of your ears have white people wax? And the so other that's what, Asian? see, I've had this identity crisis, not because I don't know where I'm from, but because my earwax can't decide what they are. Sometimes they're dry, sometimes it's wet, because you guys would have a waxy, wetter earwax. Um, Asians have dry, flaky earwax. I thought flaky I read that earwax. anyone can have either. Oh, I, I read that. Esther <laughs> has flaky <laughs> I know. You have both? Everybody can Esther, have it all. Esther, who's been gripping you up? What's going on here? Dude, mosquitoes are attracted to me. Mosquito I syndrome. Like the, the, I think because I've dreamt of doing this to you before, <gasps> it looks like someone just gripped their fingers and yanked you. Yeah, no, I know. My meaty arms are like, yeah. No, guys, can I just say, well, let's just say on this side, I think we're very like classically beautifully plumply thick right now. And I think it looks good. <laughs> How could you say that? Look about- at her. I'm plumply thick, beautifully, so classically. Wait. No, we look good. You are you just called me fat. Well, you want me to undo what you said about yourself that's true? <laughs> Listen, we're, our arms are a little thicker. No, my arm has always looked nine months pregnant. Like, it's just not. <laughs> my arm is not. Okay, well, then I'm sorry what I said about the rest of your body. Imagine it. <laughs> my arm no, is not. I look skinny. back on when I was, like, really fit before the pandemic, and I am actually not into the look at all. Yeah, I like all versions of myself. Uh-huh. I like a, a, a you know, a, a season change. Uh-huh. Like, I'm not against, hmm. you know, fluctuating. Before, I used to really care about the extra five, six pounds. Who gives a shit? I look good no matter what weight. Her, she's dealing with five or six pounds. You might be too because of your height. <laughs> <laughs> there are, like, it's definitely in the ranges of 10. <laughs> Wait, I've hit, I've definitely gone 25 pounds over, over my normal before. I not have, now. Not now. Oh I have now I'm about 10 over. My Do you usual. think it's that we're in our 30s and we're more comfortable? Whereas like in your 20s, like every little body change like scared me and I like mm-hmm. had an eating disorder mindset. But now it's like, well, you know, like you always say, like, I look fertile. Like who cares? Yeah, I don't know. I think the fertile thing really helps me. But I because of that. But I also like I have like little titties now. <laughs> like, little like a little titties. bud. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I have like I didn't get the full ones, but I when I look back at myself when I was doing jujitsu and yoga yeah. and everything all day, I you can see the bones here. Yeah, and and the tits go. I go tits. If first. that's what makes you happy, it's I, fine. But I honestly, genuinely, I'm attracted to you in this shape. Well, I was gonna say I go tits first into a diet, but I also want to say <laughs> I'm attracted to you in my outfit. Honestly, <laughs> I'm such a narcissist. I'm like she's never looked hotter. Her <laughs> accessories are gorgeous. Everyone, it's Annie's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy Annie. birthday to our Annie! And in honor of that, I have. Well, let me tell you, it actually goes a lot further. Further the. The shirt just isn't pierced. I have fake nipples underneath here that you can't actually see. What? Did you bobbies, cheat them higher? Where did you well, get- they're bobbies. <laughs> they're bobbies. You know, he he wears earbuds to sleep or those earwaxy. Oh my god! What if you there? stabbed his expensive like i i like iPod <laughs> <laughs> earbuds? You're like, yeah, fuck him. He's gone. His rate like two hundred fifties. Um, so I have that. I actually tried to draw my abs. That was a disaster. Can you show us your, yeah. the a- attempt? 
It makes me feel so much better about myself. Ew, Kalila. <laughs> what the you, fuck? You know what she did, though? She did give herself, like, the, the cut. The cut. She gave herself the V. Okay, Annie is... I, I knew this. I called this the first time Annie did her abs, and I said it was her artistry. Annie is talented She's at talented. it. She's talented. And that's proof, because you I saw I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. It's but been, you're still kind of bad today. You look pretty hot in my outfit, too. Well, you want to know what happened? I had to... I was praying Show to have us. enough time to get... They look a little bit more like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Opening that root chakra, baby. But um, I, <laughs> no, I, did, I lost on the road. I lost my tube. My what thing. tube do you usually use? I use okay, ladies at home. And by the way, NYX, you owe me money for this, okay? <laughs> NYX Wonder Stick. This is the jam because you can get the highlighter too. The highlighter's key. <laughs> you give yourself, it really pops. But, but I think that. You should give yourself more credit. You know how to shape the abs. Yeah, how, you can how get, did you learn? Did you like? Have I to watch followed a video? where my abs like ha were underneath. But did you like have to watch any tutorial? Or you just I watched some tutorials. But I, you know, I have ADD. I can't. But they take so <laughs> long, and they're like subscribe, and they like take so long to get to it that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just draw it myself. <laughs> I can't wait for you to fucking take. When I see like a like a makeup tutorial and it's 11 minutes, I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. This should be a two minute video that's so funny because i love the ones that are like 45 minutes <laughs> i just i'll just sit through the whole thing like wow like she's so pretty and then look at her makeup. <laughs> and then look at what she learned no because i'm a makeup on the go girl like i am a do it you're a go-go queen i'm a makeup <laughs> on the go-go <laughs> I, I take the little sperm and i do their makeup well i have a question today is annie's birthday episode but annie's birthday has already happened and i'm curious what what happened on your birthday? What'd you do? Tell I us. got, let's You've just been say, away. I like to say that I, I tempted the Delta virus. I had a real, what? I had a real, let's see if this thing's going to get me or not. Sort and of I'm experience. scared. <laughs> and did no, it get I was, you? This was, don't worry, weeks ago. And I've been tested several, but so, okay. So no, it didn't get me, but Whitney randomly hit me up. So my friend was going to throw me a surprise party and I was like, no, thanks. Like, I don't, it wasn't like going to be, it's like, I would like to control the people that are my, if I'm gonna have a party, but I also don't no. want a party. I have a no surprise party policy. Well, yeah, you have a no surprise, yeah. no party. <laughs> but see, <laughs> yeah, but, but don't you th think I was onto something? You didn't want it. We had a great episode for you that you seemed miserable the whole time. Which one? We gave you the wheelchair. Oh God. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna start just using a wheelchair. <laughs> Why not? I mean, look, if you, if, I don't think there's anyone to tell you like that if you have chronic fatigue, which I think Esther has. <laughs> Esther has something, dude. Or like low blood rude. pressure. Low blood pressure. I do right? have low blood pressure. Yeah. Um, I think so proud. I'm yeah, but do you really think I have chronic fatigue? Well, You're, from what you happy told right me. Now. Why? Did you miss me? I feel like, do you think I have it? Am I being diagnosed? I for sure have it. And because Wait, my, is this Esther's birthday? We can't diagnose her on my <laughs> birthday. We can't give her her dream. <laughs> I've never seen a happier girl. Are you diagnosing me with something? I can't and that's that one you could really milk too. Chronic fatigue. Oh, I can't oh. make it. <laughs> I'm too tired. I can't make it over to that bowl. Can you put popcorn in it for me? I have always self-diagnosed myself with some type of like hypotensive issue where it's it's called POTS. Um <laughs> What is happening? We're uh, off the fucking rails. It's kind of like, it's like this autonomia. It's weird. My blood pressure gets low. It's a, it's a collection of things that, uh, that that my symptoms match. But I think you have some weird chronic fatigue I would, going so on. Some weird way. chronic? This is the rudest thing anyone's ever No, I mean, Stop I Stop them. Why are you grinning and, jo and looking like you're taking go-go right now? <laughs> I've never seen a girl this happy since she was taking cum shots. <laughs> Um, by the way, if can I tell you where we're different? We're alike in a lot of ways. Yeah. I would try my hardest in life to not be diagnosed with something called POTS. <laughs> I would be like, I would change my entire life to not have whatever POTS Look, is. Look, I don't know if I have POTS, but I for sure have um, um, orthostatic hypotension. So for instance, you guys, I passed out um, in a yoga class last week what? on a camel pose. She has fucking COVID. No, it <laughs> camel pose will knock you out though. It knocked me the fuck out because you know how you're supposed to do it's you do the camel pose, Annie. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, yeah, is it that it's where you hang on to your ankles, but do it slowly because you think will pass out. Something broke just now in your body. Yeah, but so you're hanging oh, on to your ankles. Here, I'll do it. Oh, fuck. I can't do this one. I'll do it. Oh, I know. Like this. Yeah. Oh my God. This is the one I skipped when I was doing Bikram. 
I cannot do this. Okay, so I passed out in camel pose because I have... Um, have you ever imagined a stream of cum coming on you? Annie, <laughs> drop it! <laughs> <laughs> also, you passed out during... You're lying. Not because... I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. The Shit. lights went out in the city. But did people notice you passed out oh, or did you wake up? My, well, my sister was right next to me and I, apparently like, I came back to it because and then my eyes were in completely different directions <laughs> okay we've and heard we've heard about this wandering eye <laughs> <laughs> but usually goes in Bobby goes hour. out of town and all of a sudden the eyes are wandering <laughs> and so i it took me about a minute to come around and um, i hope I was the whole really class was the whole class standing over you did you wake up like this and then everyone was standing over you. No, no one even noticed I was out. That was oh. the saddest part oh, about it. No that's, one came to my aid. That's like when I ran away from home and nobody knew and I just had to come home. Was it nope. recently? <laughs> oh, Esther, that is sad. How old Esther, were you? Esther, you do still run away from home. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was little. Wait, do you ever threaten, like, do you ever, like, pack your, like, during a fight, pack your bags and threaten to leave? Not really. Do you guys? No, I don't make fake threats. I've I learned that lesson a long time ago, guys. <laughs> oh. You do put a poison in the well when you do that. That's so true. You cannot like if I get married, I realize like I can just never say the divorce word, the divorce, the D word. You divorce. cannot. <laughs> what is the divorce word? The divorce word is um, I can't say it. It's actually will get me canceled. But I had a guy do that to me. He was a visiting lover from Australia, and he thought we were a lot more serious. We probably were pretty serious. But every day I would come home and he had probably read a text or something. And every day he he, he packed his bag. Like for like three weeks straight, every day he had his bags back. I hate when you date someone long distance and then they come visit you and then you realize you absolutely hate their fucking guts. And then <laughs> everything they say you hate. You're like, oh, you're so fucking. <laughs> and especially hate. like an accent you're like that you think is hot. Um, ew. Um, and then but once it's in your ear all the time, you're like, I fucking hate this accent. It's so funny it. that Annie says that. She's like, don't you hate it when? Like, this has happened multiple times. Wait, it so has. I want to no, talk like about me. that. I know it's happened Wait, we have to times. get back to it, yoga pass out. This is my fault. Well, nothing happened except that the lights went out in the city, you guys. And no one was there to help you me. Died? No one noticed. What city is it? <laughs> New was, Jersey City over here? It went out in <laughs> Waikiki. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were in Hawaii, right? Yeah. I Why did everyone it. have a better birthday than me? <laughs> Wait, where were you? I greeted I you from Vegas. Hawaii. No, I, I will say this. I went to, I did go to, I went to Vegas and it was Todd and I, I'm telling you, if I had gotten it, it would have been fucking worth it. Oh Todd my I, God. No, <laughs> listen, no, I'm saying this 100%. You're going to understand when I tell the you. The views expressed by Annie Letterman <laughs> do not reflect <laughs> the collective. Worth it. <laughs> listen, Todd and I were in the casino. And I got like 500 bucks in cash out and I just said, this is our gambling money. What casino? We were, well, we stayed at the Sahara, which is like pretty gets. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the, and then we went to the win. But the problem with it, when you go to the nice ones, the minimums are so high that it's not yeah. fun to play. Right. It's like, you don't, it's like, you don't want to run out of your money right away. Yeah. But Todd and I went back to the other one and we were like, it I had to, I had just gotten hypnotized to stop smoking cigarettes, but there was a mother <laughs> and son like, from so Brooklyn bad. That I would have been chain smoking hundred Newports, hundred um, Newport hundreds with. Like, I, I was looking at those cigarettes, going like, literally this time yesterday, I would have been like smoked that lady's pack. Wait, did it, was it work? So fun. Yeah, being hypnotized works. I've been getting hypnotized on everything. Tell us more about that. Well, Wait. let me get through. Let me tell you about the epic birthday. Yeah, Todd and I found my favorite machine. My favorite uh, slot machine was this Vanna White. Vanna White. She mm -hmm. would appear. There were three different wheels. It was the most exciting bonuses, bonuses. Like it was just incredible. Then I go and I'm asking like, where's the thing? And they're like, oh, that doesn't exist anymore. <gasps> I was like, it's just oh. too good. They had to take it from us. So then I'm like, ugh. But then I was like, you know what? You got to be positive. There's going to be another one that's good like that. Family Guy. So we find, I didn't try the Family Guy one, but we tried, Is that a good we did one, a Walking Esther? Dead one. If you like Family Guy, it's great. You look like Stewie. Has anyone told you that? <laughs> I, I want to be Stewie. That's like my you personality. Are. Stewie is okay, the best character are. in the whole Thank thing. You. Except yeah. he's better at accents than you. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm the, um, I don't know. Quagmire? The, the neighbor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both knew. Okay, keep going. I'm like the annoying one. I don't know. <laughs> um, with the great name. But so we like, we I'm play a Lois, Walking right? Dead. What? I'm a Lois. Yeah, you're Lois. Like, we're all trying to fuck you. Or I am. Oh. Oh, I, what? I'm a Lois, I think. <laughs> What's the daughter? Okay, you're the daughter, just, at least. Let's cut. Move Meg? on. Meg? 
Meg, be Meg no, at least. We all know I'm Meg. Okay. You can't be all of them. <laughs> it's, no one wants okay, to be Meg. Okay, then I'm posh. Then I'm posh. You can't be You're posh. I'm posh. I'm posh. <laughs> Guys, I'm posh and you literally can't do anything about no, it. I will. There, you can't unposh me. Look at you. You're sporty. Do not call me the lesbian one. <laughs> She's not the lesbian one. She's the only one that can really why sing, did though. You, why did your lips get so, like, they were eating a girl out when you said that? You, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Go to the Vegas story. <laughs> so we play a Walking Dead game that's pretty fun. I'm like, okay, all right, this is good. We move on. We get to, we're passing by a Crazy Rich Asians game. And I say, listen, mm. my girl, Nora Aquafina, that's my fucking homegirl. My boyfriend's half Asian. My my people are Asian. Sorry. Um, <laughs> everyone I like is Asian. Um, but so we, we sit down and play it. And it's literally... <laughs> I've never had more fun in my life. Like, I'm going to cry tears of joy how much fun it was. <laughs> we were screaming. People were behind us. Like, we were like, oh, my God. Like, scream. People were like, go, go. Oh, you're getting our money. That should be ours. Like, we made, we made like, $300. There's, like, these little, like, these little diamonds that you get that give you bonuses. And it's like, ding, 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 ding. And then it's just like, you know, like, they, whenever they're like, ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, ding. And it's like, you're making, like, it's like 20 bucks. Like, for, like, a, they're like, big money. And it ends uh -huh. up being $20. But you're like. It's just giving you everything you want because it's just trained to make your brain feel that adrenaline. We were so happy. We were screaming. We were up like we had made $300 and then we brought it back down to $200. And I was like, all right, we got to go because we're starting to lose again. So Todd goes to play roulette, which is my now my other favorite game. Goes to play roulette Roulette's with the fun. mother son from Brooklyn. Who? Oh, my God. You guys, it was like so amazing. It was this black guy with a butthole surfer shirt on. And I was like, do you like me? And he goes... He goes, yeah, I saw them in uh, in Brooklyn. It was just like the most amazing. It was just like worlds colliding. Like everything was like incredible. That is very, that's that's a, that's the ultimate Vegas vibe. Yeah. It was unbelievable. His mother was like wasted and she didn't know how to play. And she kept like trying to touch the um, the dealer. It was just so good. It was like they had to leave for their flight. They were like, oh, we only have 45 minutes of our flight leaves. What? I was like, that is so Vegas. So then we go, Todd goes to play roulette. I go into the bathroom and I go, you know what? I just feel like there's one, a couple more pushes I got to make. So I go out to Unfinished back to the, business. I, I was, I'm not done. I go, I go back to the um, walking dead and there had been this white bitch that was coming up. I don't watch the show and she never made you any money. And I was like, eventually this white bitch is making me money. I pushed it twice. The whole thing was this white bitch's face. And then it was like times four and it was like, ding, 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 ding. I made $200. Wow. And then I just took it out and went over and we played roulette. So we left. We were like $300 up when we left. That sounds like the best night ever. It was so fun. Wow. But just the gate, like falling. If you just lean into the fact that you, this is meant to make you feel the way it's feeling. You're yeah. Feeling. But I go behind people. I'm like hype people behind theirs. I'm like, yeah. One of the guys we were laughing about how little the amount is, but it's still so fun to watch. Maybe you're warmer. You know how there's a cooler? Is that the opposite? A cooler is somebody who uh, joins a table and basically um, ruins the chances at the table. Have you seen that movie with... Um, it. it. <laughs> um, but Me. maybe you're somebody, you're the opposite of that. She's maybe a warmer, but she's also cold, so we have to get her a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Attention to all men across the galaxy and all the way from Australia to Houston. Do you have a pube problem? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you asked that. If so, our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet pew, with a performance pew. package 4.0. The orbits in his pants will feel like they're in zero gravity when he uses the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming. Listen, <laughs> this is a NASA themed thing. We don't need to have a NASA pubes. Um, inside the package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer. We might need that. <laughs> crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold his whole solar system. The lawnmower 4.0 also has a 4000K LED spotlight that you can turn on and off when needed for a more precise shave throughout your travels across the universe. This LED light is literally a genius move. I'm so glad we have it. You guys, this has taken off not only in the USA, but Canada, the UK, across Europe, Australia, South Africa, and Singapore. Can you believe everyone has pubes? <laughs> we all over here at Trash Tuesday are obsessed with our Manscaped, and you guys can get 20% off plus free shipping with the code TRASH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code TRASH at manscaped.com. 
Men, abort Harry Balls and buzz Lightyear your Woody with Manscaped. <laughs> His space balls will thank you. Hey, Annie and Kalila. You know what's something that all three of us need really bad? Therapy. Better help. Bobby and I have been using better help for years. And not only has it, it, it's just improved every aspect of my life. I think that even if you're not going through a crisis, it's good to keep, you know, the, the, the grass in your pastures green. And it's always good to talk out your week with somebody. Um, so if there's something preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp is the way to go. We are obsessed with BetterHelp. They have a journal feature where I can just write out my feelings and what I'm dealing with and just whenever I feel like it. And my licensed therapist will check it out. And also what I love about it is 48 hours from now, you can be communicating with someone who's helping you. And it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. They have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, trauma, that's all of us, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters. And um, the service is available for clients worldwide. You can find the particular expertise you need online. You don't need to limit yourself to the counselors located near you. And do not worry, you guys. Anything you share is confidential. And this BetterHelp is so convenient, professional, and affordable. They have so many testimonials on their site, and it's not a crisis line. This is the real deal. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. And as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. There's nothing more important, I'm sorry, than your mental health. Nothing. <laughs> But there was like a movie. It was a movie called The Rounders? Cooler. or no? The Cooler. But oh it's about my. Vegas. And it's like, if you want the table, like the, the casino hired her to approach a table to sort of cool the table when it's, when it's a little Esther. too hot. How if could nursing you, school doesn't work out. Yes. <laughs> how, does, how could you actively cool a table down? Like, that's what I don't understand. I well, forgot. if it's if there's like maybe if they're just like on a run, you add one more person, then Great. all of the good cards go out. My dad recently went to Vegas and he told me that so he he was playing poker. And I guess when you play poker at the table, who's at the Bellagio, you hand everyone your like player's card, which has your name on it. So like the dealer gets all the player's cards, goes through them, whatever. And my dad's sitting there at the table and the, the dealer goes, Maury P. And my dad's like, yeah. And he's like, hey. And it's a guy that my dad went to high school with and played cards with. And my dad's 78 years old. It's like, how, what are the chances? And it, it, I was just like, that's crazy. Like that would only he happen. He should have gone and put money like on black. He should have been like, I'm putting all my money on black. Let's go. I thought the story was going to go a completely different way. Then they started I thought, kissing. No, I thought He's he banned. was going to be mistaken for Maury Povich. Oh. <laughs> Maury P. I guess he could be. Well, he, my dad can only go to several. Like he can't go to, there's a certain like parent company. I don't know if it's MGM or which one. He can't go to any of their casinos because he banned himself. He's, oh, good. He that's, can't yeah. ever go. Yeah. Oh, you can ban yourself? Yeah, you can blacklist. Yeah. You. My dad did the same thing he did yeah all over because he lost most of his money gambling because he really? was one of those yeah bad you, gambling it's just it the thing is because the fun is in the continuing to do it it really isn't yeah. in the earning that's the yeah. problem if you can like you would probably be great at it because i could see you just taking the money and going yeah but it's like I I was much better on this trip than I ever have been. Like where it's like I could feel myself. Okay, I'm going into the dark zone. Like obviously we've <laughs> had enough fun. Wait, what's the dark zone? It's just when you know it stopped giving you the good stuff because it sucks you in. Like the yeah. the machines like are like it's not fun anymore. Well, the machines are going to give you a lot of like bonuses and wins, but Annie. like after a while they cool it. It cools the I don't know the terminology. That's what happened to me in I know it's a different island, different place, but that's what happened to me in Hawaii. So everything closes down there at 12 because of COVID and whatnot. But I went to a bar for the first time in like two years. I had two drinks and the rest of the night I was in every single Uber looking for a strip club, <laughs> looking for an open strip club. Why? Esther does that sober. Because I think that <laughs> I've been like in this space for so long that when I had my first drink, it was like a nostalgic, I'm in Vegas feeling. Uh, again. Yeah. Like, I'm out with my friends. Let's let's just- It doesn't you know, end here. Yeah, let's morning the yeah. night, you know? Well, sometimes it is. It's like, why would we just go to bed now? There's more to be had. I will I say, since you said what you just said, that one time me and Dave went to a strip club in Santa Barbara and- You slid off the chair? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. It's too much cum. You suck. <laughs> no, we went to strip club and like Dave was like 
I feel like you're enjoying – like, Dave was, like, weirded <laughs> out. Dave, he, you do have long hair. Like, I'm just saying, like, your hair is a little <laughs> – she's a trend. I feel like he felt like I liked it too much. A little, like, I, I just there, – there was – that was in the air. I hope he doesn't watch this podcast. Well, sometimes he does. <laughs> the other day he sent me, like, a little screenshot of – because you know how when the producers will add, like – little like it, it says it labels the chunk of like this is we're yeah. talking about strip clubs mm-hmm. well, there was one chunk that was labeled like dave's sleep apnea mask and how to <laughs> clean it <laughs> he was like great <laughs> wait okay we keep teasing a vegas strip is it actually gonna happen we have to do it are you kidding yeah like how yes i want to go so bad we got to see usher i also have a dream <laughs> guys i have a dream hold on is we're that seeing... a team decision no. usher i'll Katie leave you guys i'll go i'm not i want to do usher Sure. Are you Katie kidding Perry, me? Perry, Katy Perry. Let's do both. One night, we one night. Both. Is she back? She's coming in the December. I think she starts. Wait, because I, I want to do Every Usher time you for say sure. Come, even if it's like I, I just <laughs> see like a shot on your head. <laughs> <laughs> She's horny. Ring my bell. Right I will now, go like as soon as possible. I, I really, I've never had more fun. I realize I come alive there, there and Miami. I brought my Miami out, by the way. I, I will say I, that Vegas in the winter starts to die down. What do you mean? In a good Just the way? vibe is not as fun. So it's got to be late September or sometime in the next Great. two months or I'm out. Okay. Well, don't threaten us. I'll take the threat. I'm threatening. That was bold. I I'm like threatening. The threat. <laughs> also, my winter body is not, <laughs> I'm is going, not prime for Vegas activity. Oh. I'm going to the desert to do drugs with Doug Stanhope, Doug Stanhope and his Hope. crew again at the very end of September. Oh, okay. We'll have to do it. Well, it's close enough to Vegas. Is it Death Valley? Yeah. Okay. We can make it a yeah. whole trip. <laughs> well, I could also do... We don't need much time, right? Like, I we could go Friday night to Sunday night. I do want to watch a show, though. So Annie's right. I do want to see Usher. I want to get backstage at Chris Angel. I'm just saying that. I'm putting that out there into the universe, and I will. <laughs> I want to be like, Chris Angel, do you want to see a trick? Whoosh. I'm now behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm now backstage. <laughs> Did you grow up to Chris Angel? A little bit, but it's more just like I don't. I'm no longer. I no longer want to just be an innocent bystander. I want to be like, listen. Have you heard of podcasts? Well, we've got one. We need to be backstage. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I, there's other places I'd rather go backstage, like before Chris Angel. Is it getting a pedicure because you're fingering your <laughs> just I crusty toes? I don't get pedicures. They make me uncomfortable. Yeah, we can see. <laughs> Do you get them? <laughs> yes. I don't at all. I've never. I haven't had a pedicure in eight years. I think it's like creepy. Like feet are like tools. They're not meant to be groomed. Tools to what? To walk. To make men... Oh, go? <laughs> not for me. Are you sure to walk Esther because you're a you're also a wheelchair queen? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what we need to get you? We need to get you those Heelys, the shoes with wheels. I, I want those. Too. I, Did you I, ever I would have those? Myself. No, I, I've always like looked at those like, wow, like what would that be like? Can you but. imagine she forgets she has them and goes to get in her car <laughs> right down the fucking hill? <laughs> Wait, Annie. I need to hear about this hypnotizing thing. Like, it, are you really telling me that you got hypnotized and you, it made you quit? Do you smoking? feel sleepy? Mm. <laughs> um yeah tell us more like oh. it i honestly also think it's the reason i didn't get um covid the views expressed by annie letterman <laughs> no i think i made myself like immune like i'm like my immune system high well I, do you think is, it could be the vaccine <laughs> i do think that there's something to what you're saying it's like if you don't carry that stress in your life mm-hmm. your immune system is automatically boosted so it's 100%. like so there is you know it's a combination. She's vaccinated. She's in a better place. And her immune system is joyful and light. Mm-hmm. I just was like, my family's healthy. I'm healthy. Yeah. But, um, you yeah, know, I got I've gotten uh, hypnotized for that. I did a hypnosis today that was like sexual trauma hypnosis. Mm-hmm. That was I had some crazy epiphanies. Really? And I got to go in again and do it again. But it was she had me like go back over my timeline of my life and see like like I envisioned it like um an EKG is that what it's called mm-hmm. like in the heart yeah like yeah. A, like a line like that and I was like floating over it and then I would see like dark spots and then I would go to them and I had this like memory of there was this guy Jack who used to come to my parents' house <laughs> like so dark I really jumped into this from Vegas but um. That used to come to my house and I always like thought he might have molested me because he would he would chase me. He would like tickle me and chase me into this closet is this memory I always had. But he was only in my house two times when I was like four or whatever. So it's like this like misty mem- memory. And in the hypnosis today, I was like, what happened? What happened? I think I either like bit him or yelled at him because 
I was thinking about it every and and all of my like sexual assaults, like my three or four that I had makes me sound so histrionic. I swear to God, I'm not a liar. <laughs> but um, I always told I always like got them in trouble. They always were fired. I always went to court. I never, ever, ever like didn't like avenge it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, why would this have been a time that I didn't? And I was like, I think I I told him to get away from me because also he didn't come back. So he came twice. The The second time was the chasing me into the- Oh yeah, you closet. were a biter. I told him, I got his, his fucking ass out. Yeah. Bye. Is this something you didn't know about until you just did this? I had the memory of the closet, but I didn't really know what happened. And I kind of was like, who fucking cares at this point? Do I really need another one? <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit? But it was cool to be able to like, so she takes you back and like, you go through these these situations and then you think of like the positive thing that happened from it, like the lesson you learned from it. And then you just focus on that. And then you like deflate whatever the bad emotion is. Like you physically like, like release the air from it. Mm -hmm. And then you just put light into it. And then your, your lifeline just has all these like bright light spots now instead of the dark ones. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it was That's really, really cool. sweet. And when they put you, like, do they actually do the like, you're getting sick. No, it's a it's like you you talk over Zoom. So the way that I've been doing it is like you talk over Zoom and you tell her like whatever you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, Well, what does your she always goes, What does your beautiful brain need to hear? And then so you so if I'm worried about like um ticket sales or something, if I'm like, I'm worried about ticket sales, like instead of that, I should be like, I'm really like happy to perform rather than mm -hmm. focusing <laughs> on that. Or I don't know if that's the right example. But so then, you know, you're just like putting stuff into your head. Yeah, you're right. also just replacing the other feeling, right. the negative feeling with, with something. Yeah. Good one, yeah. yeah. But it's cool. It's like been really awesome. But um, I wanted to talk to you, Annie. You mentioned something about um, your family vacation and how <laughs> it didn't go um, as smoothly this time around. Well, my brother, my older brother just got this house in New Jersey and he's like, everyone stay with me. And we're like, okay. I was like, I can get a hotel. I actually have enough money for a hotel now. I don't have to sleep on a couch. Even though I do like getting woken up by the kids. It's fun. Aww. So I do like that. And we also like the family hangs out. We smoke a little weed. Not me because I don't do that anymore. But um, Oh, you quit smoking pot? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but, now, but this time I didn't smoke. <laughs> every, every once a month I do, yes. Every few days. But um, occasionally I dabble in quitting smoking weed. But I had been smoking cigarettes a lot and she completely cleared that. It was so cool. And yeah. my fucking TMJ, dude. I'm no. not clenching. I swear to God, I'm not clenching my jaw. And she put into my brain that I my jaw is relaxed while I'm sleeping. No way. I swear to God. Well, Esther and I might be going on a trek because we're just in so much pain. You're going to go to the Botox? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to get Botox on my jaw because I'm afraid of losing my big fat cheeks. I, I know, do it is love scary. the shape of my face. I don't want to change anything about the shape of my face. But my doctor did say there's a chance that you can only need it once and just break the habit of clenching altogether, that he's had patients only need it once or twice and that's it. But I just have a fear of, Getting you in know, because I like my cheeks and I don't like. <laughs> I mean, if I you're bringing that Botox and you don't hear me, <laughs> a lot of the chances I'm not like, come on, give me a little. <laughs> Lift your arms. <laughs> I'm like, come on. I'm going to try to cure this next, my sweaty armpits. But that's amazing. So you're not clenching. It's like, I mean, it's better by like, over 50%. Like, it's wow. like crazy. I recently had someone, which you're the first person who told me about this, where they go in your mouth. It's good, right? It's so good. A masseuse or like yeah, a fit body work guy puts his hands mm -hmm. in my mouth. It is amazing. Let's stop going to guys. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no more boys. <laughs> <laughs> they go in your mouth. They take your their penis and they get your no, like. No, 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 no. <laughs> can, I guys sh can I show you guys the nipples your vagina, I'm using? Yes. yes. Hold on, I think I clipped it Can I show you mine? <laughs> <laughs> Look, is it not the close to your color? Oh, I love that. Yeah, these that are the things Bobby puts inside like his ear. Here. Oh, does he do that to not hear things? Yeah, he doesn't want to hear You're yapping. anything. He's a fucking yapper. Oh, my God. I know he is. Oh, my God. Bobby, <laughs> do Bobby does my head in. He really won't shut the fuck up sometimes. He always has to have an opinion. I'm more of a uh, quiet, let's just get things done around the house. <laughs> we can yeah. talk about it later. <laughs> Annie, what I wanted to get to was your my you, fight with my brother. No, no, no. You realizing that you were a fat family. Oh, we went swimming. Yeah, we went <laughs> swimming, and it was actually the most fun. So we went to like the like my brother's a member of a pool, 
and there was really not anyone there. So it was just like we had the pool and we were pool kids. Like we used to walk to the pool every day and hang out at the pool all day. So me and my two brothers put all pushing 40s, 140 already, <laughs> like diving off the diving board. Like we are fucking seven years old. Like we were, I was doing a back dive. We're doing other stuff. But my sister-in-law gave me a one piece to wear because <laughs> I only have like the whoriest. The string I mean, bikini. Just ass cheeks out. <laughs> and... Um, so I was wearing my sister-in-law's uh, swimsuit and it was just, I mean, there were pictures and I was like, oh my God, like we are, you don't have to have a kid to have a mama's body, it turns out. <laughs> and we, it just, I just was like looking at my family and go, we are, we're, we're a fat family now. We can't. Like your, your our, my brothers, we are, none of us, like usually there's one that's like fit. Like we are all, we got COVIDed. Let's just say that we got <laughs> COVID 15 <laughs> or 19, whatever it is. But there's such a joy in just accepting. Just they have like, kids, fuck they it. have families. Yeah. I'm like, I look great for a mother of two. Like, I look amazing. <laughs> and that swimsuit, it was like, I was the hottest mother of two there. Sometimes I do want to tell people I'm 45 just to hear the compliment of saying, no. wow. You know what always happens when you do that? They go, oh my God, you only look 44. And then you're like, what? I was <laughs> you're like, I'm 36. It bitch. always backfires. <laughs> you're right. But not that I'm fat, not that my family's fat, guys. It was just the thing I said. Um, but so we then my, okay, so we always do these themed photos or we have in the past, me and my family. And this one, we were going to do the kids dress up like adults and the adults dress up like kids. But at this point, there's so many people in the family now, it's stressful to do. And it's now my mom has like hijacked it. It was like a thing I did for my Instagram because I have followers. And my mom now is like, we need to do my picture. It's like, nobody cares about you, mom. But um, I love you. I love my mom. I love my mom. Um, but so we're like getting this whole thing together. I black my two teeth out, put my hair in pigtails. My brother is wearing like a cowboy shirt and a cowboy hat. And he just starts yelling at me and I just lose it. I start yelling back at him. And I didn't even realize until today that we were in these costumes and we were yelling. I'm like, if there's footage of that fight. I mean, we were like going at each what other. What was the fight? He goes, he, well, we were trying to figure out like where the kids were going to stand. And he just started yelling at me and going, you have no respect for my things. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Timmy, is this from fourth grade? Because I literally, I'm just here taking care of it and having fun with your kids. I've done nothing. I didn't, was not like you anything. You have no respect for my things. I'm like, for what? What the hell are you talking about? And he's like screaming at me. And then he for, didn't realize he yelled at me. And my sister-in-law, not his wife, my other sister-in-law had to be like, no, Tim, you started that. That was crazy. You came out of nowhere. She didn't do anything. I was like, yes, bitch. This is what having a sister's like. This is awesome. <laughs> that is not what having a sister is like. <laughs> it is. Just it to is. be clear. If Sometimes. you have a sister that's close enough in age, um, like it's it's the best. I yeah. cannot describe to you how lucky I feel that I have a sister only a year older than me. That is cool. It is like a warm blanket, a thing you just know, like you just know that life can never suck as long as Esther's she's around. Esther's sister always says she's like a wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, I view her more as like my abuser. Like, <laughs> just tortured me my whole childhood. It wasn't so nice on her end either. <laughs> the helper. <laughs> I mean, was she... Was she Seven years old, put to work. <laughs> Did Take she, care of this kid. Is that what happened? Did she have to care for you a lot of times? She ha she was a helper, yeah. Yeah, that's that's rough on a kid too. But she, I think she she liked it. Like, she she we had our good moments, but... You know, there was also the rough stages where she was torturing me fully. And oh, I, I was, love her. And I was sitting outside the door, out of the door, closed door of her room, crying, screaming, begging to get in. Oh, wasn't I've been allowed there. in. I've been there too with Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes through that face. <laughs> let me in, let me in. <laughs> Everyone's got Esther banging on the door at some point. <laughs> I love the sponsor so much. You guys don't let the stress of daily life weigh on your body. Whether you're an elite athlete like Kalila or someone like me and Annie, just trying to make it through the day tension free, the Theragun can help. Theragun is a handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power. And it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. The Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good, it gets to the source of the pain by releasing tension using Theragun's signature percussion therapy, which goes 60% deeper than vibration alone. You know what I love? I love the different attachments I you know. can use for the different parts the of your body. The soft one? For your face? On my freaking face. Love it, that's the best one. <sighs> <laughs> the OLED screen and design make you feel like you're holding something from the future. Just go to their site and check it out. And the Theragun app 
learns from your behaviors, and suggests guided routines. Whether you want to treat your muscle tension from working out, an, an injury, or just the stresses of everyday life, there is no Substitute for the Theragun Gen 4. Theragun <laughs> is trusted by 250 professional sports teams like Real Madrid and elite athletes like Paul George, Deon DeAndre Hopkins, Maria Sharapova, and hundreds of thousands of customers and me and Esther and Annie. No, but you guys know how it feels when you have a really tense jaw or like a tense neck and then the feeling after you've used the Theragun, you just feel lighter and easier. I it's will really say after my most difficult like um, workout days, this cuts my recovery in half. Try Theragun for 30 days starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash trash Tuesday right now and get your gen for Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash trash Tuesday. Therabody.com slash trash Tuesday. We are obsessed with our Theraguns. Mm. Wait, Annie, is your ex still using your Netflix password? Because that's what one woman found out after she downloaded Truebill, which finds and cancels subscriptions with just a tap. I mean, is that not enough to get it? <laughs> no, the day of the pandemic, I was like, change all passwords. <laughs> Bye, sorry. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about, which is my biggest problem. Oh, I get a ding and I go, I'm like, oh, I'll look at that later. And then it's like, you look at your bill and you're like, that was, it's so much money. It's been so crazy. Long. So crazy. No, when I got Truebill, honestly, the, it was an entire list of shit I did not know I was spending a ton on. It's so sad how much is workout stuff too. What gets you is like you agree to like a seven day subscription mm -hmm. free, right? And then it dings you and then you just forget. I have so many of those. It's so bad. Like I, Truebill has hooked me the up. You also, got, on average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill, but me. No, mine's way higher than that. <laughs> yeah. A month. I believe maybe. it. It's I crazy. genuinely believe that. You guys, companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subs subscriptions so you don't have to. You guys don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash Trash Tuesday. Go right now. Truebill.com slash Trash Tuesday could save you thousands a year and you'll have so much fun seeing what you've been up to. Do you know many, how, how many tops at Zara you could have bought for $720? Crab legs is all I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I'm Crab thinking of legs. sushi. Yeah. Esther, so I want to talk about your mosquito bites. Do you think you have Skeeter syndrome? What's that? It's That's... She's so happy. This is a sick I'm just person. throwing diagnoses at you because I know they make you happy. Thank you. Skeeter syndrome refers to a significant allergic reaction to a mosquito bite. No. So it's not like you get bit more. You and I probably get bit the same. You just have a bigger reaction to the bite. So you get like big. Does this make her have a bigger reaction to everything? <laughs> this is going to be what she has. I actually feel very confident I don't have this because this says you have... Uh, very, you're very sensitive to the bites and you may develop a fever. I have to say, I am that, I was always that kid that showed up to school covered in bites, my legs, like I'm always covered, covered so many more than everyone else. And I feel completely fine. It's sweet blood, they call you that. I She's just had chicken pox. She was Ooh. just giving everyone fucking chicken pox that's the whole a, time. That's a good name for a sweet blood. Sweet blood. <laughs> but I was going to say, my best friend has Skeeter syndrome. And when she gets bit by even a single- You, Pots and Skeeter together? Not this me. is really hard. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the, the team you guys have. So hers gets, like, it's a giant boiled egg and she does get a fever. Wow. Like the size of her mosquito bites are like this big. Ugh. It's really sad. My um, nieces mm -hmm. get like, not like that big, but they do get bigger than usual. But she doesn't get a fever or anything. Esther, you told me a story about your ballet teacher the other day. Oh, it's going to be so different than our teacher stories. It's, well, I don't know. It's not great. This was, so I started taking ballet class again, like the last couple of weeks, just like for therapy, you know, mental. <laughs> this is a current teacher? No, no, just wait. Is it because of the Olympic year you thought that you'd make a comeback? No, I was like, you know, I had a little health thing and I was like, okay, you know what? I couldn't really work out for a little bit. And I was like, and. Was your health thing for uh, the past 20 years? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in that joke, you assumed I was only 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, imagining I knew you for 20 years. <laughs> um. So I got, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage. I'm feeling better. I'm going to take ballet class. So I've been going to ballet and it's been really ther like therapy. It's been really fun. But it, there is this one ballet class that I looked up and I was like, oh, I can't go back to that one. Because last time I went there, 
<clears throat> I took the class. It was it was great. A nice. Were the like, kids mean to you in the class? No, this is an adult class. <laughs> Just imagine you as the only adult in a child's oh, class. Oh, I've done that too. <laughs> I've done that too. That's how you look good. <laughs> They're better than you. That's how you stand out. Um, so I take the class and I really like the teacher. And at the end of the class, like, I, you know, I always go up and thank the teacher, maybe strike up a conversation. She's like, you look really familiar. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know. Do you know like, the Food Fighters? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I'm a comedian. She's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, what? And she's like, um, I, it's so bad. I'm just going to tell you basically who she was. She remembered me because about seven years earlier, I sent her a message on Facebook saying, you work at Starbucks with my boyfriend, and I think he, that you don't know he has a girlfriend, <gasps> and I think that you and him are hooking up, so why don't you tell me if you are or not? Because I used to be a fucking psycho. With and Dave? No, no, no. Or someone else? Someone else. Oh. So I was dating a guy who had a part-time job at Starbucks, <laughs> red Robin and Starbucks. I mean, these we're getting some tea pots hey, and bottomless and fries. Tea. I love Red Robin. <laughs> and <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, I am so sorry. Well, how like sure were you like that she was going to be like, oh my god, here I love your stand up. Oh wow, <laughs> I love your Comedy Central special. <laughs> Thank God this is a little before that, but but yeah, like it just goes to show like. That girl that you're DMing because you think she's hooking up with your boyfriend might be your ballet teacher seven years later. Wait, so did she, was she hooking up with him? I actually still don't know. By the time that this we met, I really didn't care, thank God. Mm -hmm. But I, this guy I was dating, I think was like cheating on me quite a bit. And I have, I don't know. Is it the fat one or the skinny one? I'm not, people will know, so I'm not. <laughs> Even I know that. you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, so on behalf of my lovely exes, fuck you. Those two are not <laughs> lovely. Listen, we like them. They're our friends. They're not lovely. I actually still don't know what he was up to. Wait, did, did you, you care, ask though, her? No? What? Do you care to know if he did or not know? I don't care at all. Yeah, I know. That's I don't like, care at all. Because I'm best friends with one of my exes when I was 17. And I'm like, I like literally, like we're really good friends. And we spearfish together all of these things. He's married. I love his wife. Is he the one that um, I met that was... No, recovered. no, no. He's he's like a. You have hot friends, dude. Everyone's I do. Hot. They're married and hot. They are. They are married and hot. I mean, I'm with a very hot. Woman yeah, yeah, too. yeah. But um, but this particular guy, um, I dated him from 17 to 20, and when we talk about his time in his life, he always like we, he always reveals something new to me that I didn't know back then, and it's always like, wait, when did that happen? And he's like, oh, this is, I fucked this girl then. I was like, we were together. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. Are you serious? But it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me now, clearly, because yeah. it's like, who gives a shit? It doesn't change anything. But it does make me wonder, like, how much do I know about every single person I, I've dated in the past? Because well, I've always just had trust. Yeah. Well, I know, I'm me the too. opposite. I've, because of what's happened, I've never had trust. And it took probably two years of like not trusting Dave and going through his phone and reading all his old Facebook messages before I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, like now I know. You're like, trust. this is so boring. I'm like, like now, yeah. So many storylines. Like, oh, <laughs> another storyline for another episode. Cool. <laughs> now I know what trust is, but before that, I literally didn't know what it felt like to trust someone. Wait, so Esther, are you ever going to ask her? I'm. Let's call her. No, <laughs> I've got her on the line because I am too embarrassed to go back to her class. I, well, I, you I should go back to her class and fucking. Was the class good? Yeah, it was bad. But then go back. But like, I she knows this embarrassing thing about. Well, did you apologize? Did you apologize? Me I gonna... did. Of course. I yeah. I, I I was totally like I'm. Oh my god! I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. But also, maybe she banged him. But and if that's even the case, if I want to say on behalf of everyone, I'm so sorry. That's horrible that you went through that with that guy. <laughs> but but if she did, that's it's not her bad. It's his bad. No, I know. She's but innocent. Still, right. If she had sex with him, she's also, innocent. Because you're saying you didn't know that he she had a didn't know. Him. Yeah. Then why don't we just, if we're still friends with the ex, we we'll just ask him. So and so, I took a ballet class, and this is her. Did you bang her? Did back you then? ever hang? Did you hook up with that girl at Starbucks? Though? Yeah. We need to know now. I need to know. Oh my god, I'll ask that. Because even if it's a look? yes, but it will just like confirm. He, I don't think he'll he'll be honest with me. Even he, now? I don't think he's going to want to admit that he was cheating on me. I don't think it's so. It's kind of cool in retrospect that he cheated on you, though. Why? Uh, I don't Why? Know. He got away with something that 
I mean, we broke up like right soon out. He out dumped my ass. I will say <laughs> Annie is right in the sense that he outdid your spy work. And he, you're really a spy. He, thank you. You're a great Quite spy. A Harriet, yeah. How did he outdo my spy work? Excuse me? Because you still don't know the answer. Oh, because I didn't. Mm, Especially, dumped your ass. You didn't get to find out. I he didn't dumped care. you. Did I he didn't. dump you? You're into the I don't know I don't know that you care about the actual information. You just like the spine. I like the chase, the hunt. Your of dad, the info. your dad, this is like your dad, right? You guys learned how to be Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Just You're I like a researcher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's I like love, in college. I'm a detective. Yeah, in college I loved doing the research for papers. I never liked writing them. That's so then I passed it off to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's your turn, mother. <laughs> but I used to love going to like the I would go have to go to the libraries in like Albuquerque, which is an hour away from Santa Fe, and I'd go into the basement and like you're like dusting off like the books, like go, oh, well, now I'm going to go to this book. And then I was like, what am I doing? I don't even. You're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm not even write this shit. But I will ask him. Yeah. I get, I don't, yeah, why not? I think it's worth it. I think the, our audience deserves an answer. I'll report back because maybe that girl was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I did. My bad. Or maybe she's just like this crazy girl DM me and nothing. I never did anything. That's how I found out about a ex cheating on me. I just asked her straight up. Like, this is what I think. Was your ex a girl? See if Esther Maybe. stays with us or falls to the floor or not. <laughs> Maybe. Or pass out. <laughs> so my my ex cheated on me with a tattoo client. And um, I I got suspicious and I asked her. I was like, did you sleep with my boyfriend? And she was a really nice lady. She was a teacher. She said, yeah. She said that you guys were broken up. And then that's it. I got my answer. Wow. I had a girl who dated my ex-boyfriend like right after we broke up. But I had been in this three-year relationship I didn't want to be in. So like... <laughs> If for he, three years oh uh, it was supposed to be two months i was like <laughs> which one was this do i know it the rollerblader <laughs> oh yeah you remember the rollerblader it should have been two months it was when we this was when we were Living. off though when we yeah, lived yeah. next to yeah, each yeah, other yeah, okay, we're fighting know, wait was I mean, he an avid rollerblader like was it was yeah, his for 30th sport? birthday i had to go to a elementary school so he could skate the kids park or whatever did you have to rollerblade with him I do love rollerblading, by the way. I can't not roller. Listen, blading. now that I now as an elder person, <laughs> an elder in this world, I would rollerblade. Rollerblading well, was it's fun. I have yeah, but yeah, it, it was his whole thing. Yeah, no, yeah. no it wasn't like it, it can't wasn't be your like whole thing. Yeah, he was thirty. It was like you didn't. If you could make it with rollerblading, which I'm not sure you can, you didn't. You didn't make well, it. Well, also there's a reason why rollerblading is not in the Olympics. But it was a little bit high. He was pretty good at it. He was good. He could do all the tricks and stuff. But it was just like. It was so funny to be a comedian dating a rollerblader. <laughs> and I would sometimes just say that on stage and everyone would just laugh. I'm like, oh my, I didn't even tell a joke. I just told you like his, what he is. <laughs> Damn. Is that funny. why it went on longer than it should have? Yes. Well, he kept skating away. I was trying to break up with him. He'd roll off. Yeah, because it was funny. I was like, you're giving me too many bunch of lines. <laughs> you guys. So I just, it occurred to me that we're not the original slugs. Excuse me? I know. Well, Jul Jules, you know, applied to all of these colleges and she got into certain UC schools. But do you know that UC Santa Cruz are the banana slugs? No. Are you serious? Yeah, that's their fucking, what do you call it? Um, mascot? Mascot. Should we apply to be oh students there? Also, UC Santa Cruz is I infamous. I still want back to school for some reason. It's I know. Really <laughs> it's very They're weird. infamous for, for being <laughs> like a stoner school, right? A really fun, oh my liberal God. arts yes. I love it. I uh, so I. I I want to associate with these. Those are slugs. really. There's a cute one. They're, that one's kind of scary. The honey it. slugs is what they're called. Banana slugs. Oh, banana slugs. I know how accurate is that. We gotta like get money from these people. They should be paying us. <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't on? seem right. We should be there. <laughs> Although I will say, Annie is if I ever pictured you in, in a university, it would be UC Santa Cruz. Why? Really? It is such like a cool like stoner kind of like creatives type of school. That sounds really fun. Yeah. I really need to go there. We got to get you high. I got to go to school. Get your nursing degree from there. You know, someone commented that like they think I just want the prestige of nursing mm -hmm. school. No, I want the knowledge. Is there a way to block comments from Esther? <laughs> I can't allow you to keep reading. You give them too much power. I don't read them. I like will skim them. But I do want to clarify. I, I really want the knowledge of nursing school, but I don't probably want to practice it. It might make you um, more of a hypochondriac. Of course, no, that's why? what she wants. Wait, yeah, so because you don't it's like, like it. no, it's your comfort blanket. I don't want to be like worried about what I have. Oh, it's going to make you more worried. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like everyone's like, oh, the more you know, no, that's not a good thing. Because then you become like overly analytical like me. And so like I have to always like tie it to something wrong. I will not allow you to be a nurse. 
Why? Because is that legal? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kidnap you. <laughs> is it legal? I'm going to beat you with a slug and a banana. <laughs> Annie, for your birthday, I got you something really special. Oh, no. It's going to be something that goes in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Oh, I wish. I wish it was something like, like a, that. Like a butt well, plug your eyes, with a tail? Close your eyes. Close okay. your eyes. Close your eyes. Is it alive? Open your eyes and catch it. <gasps> what is it? Oh, I know this symbol. <laughs> It's the hot and juicy symbol <gasps> of my favorite crab legs. I think I think that's enough crab legs. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh! 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 That's gonna give me like a pound and a half. Oh! Oh my god! I've never felt more rich in my life. Wow! How much crab legs do you think that'll buy? This will be, okay, if we get what we usually get, this will be three trips. <laughs> this is very exciting. This is probably gonna be two trips, honestly, because we're gonna shove it in. This is very exciting. That reaction. <laughs> oh! This is what I bought myself. I bought myself my Jordans. Oh, those are cute. Um, should we take I'm a shaking. This is the best present I've ever given me. <laughs> your presence is enough, don't worry. <laughs> Didn't Just know. closed your legs. Birthday Thank you. Day. <laughs> closed your legs. That's all we needed. <laughs> Can we do a banana break? Yeah. Wait, I want a tiara. Can we oh, name I it? Got a tiara for Annie for her birthday. Of her own face? <laughs> yeah. He gets me. He knows it. Mm. <laughs> Who loves this bitch more than me? <laughs> <laughs> Annie, wear your your tiara. Oh my god, it's our clay pictures. <laughs> Never looks hotter than when Clayton photoshops us. <laughs> the depression afterwards, though, is really real. What is that? Okay. Doesn't it seem like a trick, though? Happy yeah, birthday, birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annie. Is this is the joke that it's filled with go-go for Esther? No, it looks like two titties. It does look like boobies. One's a little bit bigger than the other. Happy oh, that's accurate. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's so hard to make a wish when all my wishes came true. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Where did you? Where is that from? It's like from the grocery store. It looks right? very decadent. Uh -huh. That's like, no, that that will like ruin my day. I need that alone in a corner. I've only seen someone buy this for you at you and make you eat it. What do you mean? Oh. This is, this is your gift to Annie. I made you. Oh my God. You <laughs> oh guys. my can I, can God. I put it on do you guys know that Pete does all his yeah, own arts and crafts? <laughs> Oh! Yeah, see, it's all, it's all he put the glue right on the outside. Oh my God! You guys are absolutely yeah. out of Those control. Those look like cubes too. <laughs> put it on her. Back away. <laughs> this is very beautiful. Unfortunately, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to wear it. It looks so pretty. Unfortunately, the we end the show forever. <laughs> <laughs> You might be the birthday girl, Annie, but she's the go-go queen. <laughs> wow. Ooh. How are you guys' armpits are so white? Who's? Pardon? Your armpits. You said you were going to smell our BO and see if we had it. Gladly. Did you Come really mean over. what you said? I don't back, I don't back away Mine's from joy. Mine oh, It's guys, already turning to hoagie. Oh, that's beautiful. Little clit rings. That's <laughs> it's a fucking plain hat. Do you tiara. want us to come to you or do you want to come here? Come to me. Come Make to me. One at a time. Do you can't let me. Do your go-go queen walk. It would be this. It would be this. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. You really are dressed like me. Esther, come lower. Esther's passing out some boners today. Okay. It's a lot. Like, there's see. something there. You can't deny. You're really getting in. But I like it. What does it smell like? It smells natural. Oh, mine's starting to, you can start to smell the hoagie underneath. I want to know how they compare. It's there. Do you smell it? I don't smell it. Okay, so here's my analysis. Is that yours actually smells perfumey. But that's because and, I put the, I put the. But um, I don't smell any body odor. It's, it's underneath. Esther, it's, there is a natural body odor, but it's very attractive. Oh, your pheromones match. I like it. I really? like the smell. Yeah. Of course, it's because she's she's attracted to Bobby. So me and Bobby are on <laughs> the Bobby same. Bobby doesn't have any body odor. Zero. What? I swear to you guys, you can smell his armpit any time of day and there's just nothing. Do you want to smell mine? 
Oh, it doesn't smell like anything. It's boring. It Wait, maybe there is. And yours is perfumey. It's just deodorant. Yours is musky, but in a good way. Oh my God, we're just so, smell smells so beautiful. Like we're just so hot. Deodorant? Yeah. I smell I'm musk. The only real lady. <laughs> <laughs> Esther's the only real lady. <laughs> Esther's the only one that like watched Monster and looked up to her. She's like, that's what I want to look like. Eileen Warnos? <laughs> yeah, she's just like, I don't know why she wants to be so gross. Pete, what is that? It's another gift. It's to give is to it, Esther? This is, no, this is for you. Oh no. This is George related, isn't it? What is it? <laughs> I like what is it? What is it? What is it? Remember when I choked on a chicken sandwich? They got me a chicken deluxe and the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> it's so cold. I really would have enjoyed eating this. Is it fresh, Pete? No, this it's is. Like, it's, a couple, it's, it's at least two, it's two hours. Oh, two hours is not bad. I would say, say two, two days. days. I was going to throw up on site. Oh, I'll gladly. Why does the Heimlich girl look like Esther? Although McDonald's, isn't that the food where they did the experiment where if you leave that cheeseburger out for like 30 years, it doesn't change? I thought you were going to say Esther eats it. <laughs> really? Like it doesn't decay. That is or maybe terrifying. Or maybe I'm thinking of Twinkies, but I don't know. Oh, it looks like it looks like Esther's choking and then Kalila cut her hair <laughs> short and is helping her. Wait, you're saying that McDonald's is non-perishable? You wouldn't eat it, but there was like someone was selling it on eBay. Like someone had some kind of gross food that was so preserved that it just didn't Can I guess change. who it was? Was it one of the people that cleaned your car out? <laughs> <laughs> My car is not the neat. We're searching for someone to take that job on. Well, it. thank you guys for listening to yet another week with another us trash bags. Another wild ride. A wild ride. Was that your Southern? Wow. It's ride. a wild ride. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for my birthday show. It was so fun. Happy birthday, Mr. Annie. Thank you so much, Miss Andrew, actually. So <laughs> to you. Please take a ton of pictures when you eat those crab legs. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? And send them to me. Do you want to come with me? All different angles. You could also have caught them for me. I don't want to be rude, but that's I kind can't, of a I'm not move. a crab catcher. I'm a lobster catcher. Well, give me some lobsters. But I know it's not crabs. You're a crab leg queen. You're right. I'm both. Slugs out there, <laughs> please like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Give us a review on iTunes. Share it. Post it. We will repost you. We are really trying to get the word out there that we are the trashiest, fucking nastiest. No, we are the most disgusting beautiful piggy pig pigs, but also kind of hot. Girls. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.